Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Kern Mesa Productions tutorial. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about graphics cards and Blender and how to get the most out of them. And what we're going to do to get that is we're going to first be going to the NVIDIA control panel and taking some little settings to get the most out of our geometry. And then we'll head over to Blender and change some user preferences. And if you have an AMD card, then you'll just want to head right over to Blender and we can do that. But for those of you that have NVIDIA cards, let's head over to the NVIDIA control panel. And what we're going to be doing in here is we're going to basically be telling Blender that we want the graphics card to do basically everything it can to keep Blender running smoothly. So we're going to go to the Manage 3D Settings tab, and where it says Auto Select, I'm just going to change this to High Performance Nvidia Processor. And if we just go to the program settings, we can go to Blender right here in this little drop down. And instead of the global setting, we're just going to use high performance Nvidia processor. And then we can hit apply to apply all these settings. And now we can head over to Blender. And once this loads, we can just set up a little scene right here with a plane about this big and then an icosphere. And then we're going to duplicate this plane, make it about this big, and we're going to change it to be an emission shader. And that should do. Now that we have this simple little scene right here, I'm just going to go to the edit and references and yeah so under system we are going to change this to optics and I'll have the pro the um, the graphics card checked if you're doing YouTube videos like I am or any kind of audio or video recording over that, like my little overlay right here with my camera, then do not check your processor because that is going to slow you down a ton. So just leave the graphics card checked right here. So now we can turn this off. And now let's just add some subdivision to our sphere right here. And once we have the subdivision surface modifier, we can see that we can turn this up quite a bit and the graphics card just super fast. So that's great. I'm going to leave this at two subdivisions and I'm going to shade the object smooth. So now what we can do is go to the render settings. And now that we're in EV, we can't really see anything. Your graphics card will greatly help you with Eevee due to what we did in the NVIDIA control panel, but the main thing that we did right here in the preferences is we changed the Cycles render devices. So we're going to go to the Cycles render engine, and you can see that it's kind of, um, it, no, it's not sped up. So what we actually need to do is get the GPU to run this rendering right here. So we need to make it so that the CPU, your processor, prepares the frames and tells the GPU what to do. And then the GPU renders it out, not the processor do the whole thing by itself. Okay, because that's what it's currently doing. 
And what we actually wanted to do is we wanted to tell the GPU what to do. So we're going to set the rendering device to GPU compute. And now we can see that this is rendering much faster. And I can just change this to black right here. It's rendering much faster. As you can see. And that is the tutorial.